As always, I return to record another log. The tech priests have concerns about their capabilities of refitting Xeno captured ships to our modern style. However, we could potentially still scrap the ships, trying to extract Xeno technology from them. There's still discrepancies between some of their missile capabilities, possibly drive capabilities. So we'll see. It's always nice to have old ships to help defend the line with, but well, they're not of Terran make and oftentimes they're uncomfortable for the Marines to occupy and man. So we'll see what happens. I think certainly we could always try and get more technologies. Speaking of technology, the Auto Lab is something that we're going to want to probably fast track as much as possible across our many colonies. Now, each of these Auto Labs generates something on the order of perhaps 30 research per per month, which is pretty impressive. Let's go into our colonies tab. We'll sort by production. You can see we have many purgers nearing completion here in the coming year. But let's scroll down and see if we can find some of these auto labs. They'll come after all of our military ships, star bases, that kind of thing. It, I, I'm sure we have a couple of them under production. Maybe not. Okay. Let's see. I, I sort of want to fast track them on top of anything else because our entire culture that we've developed here in the pocket dimension relies on no scientists whatsoever. Terrans simply have better jobs to do, like working in manufacturing rooms and growing food and supporting the, the naval fleet, obviously. Uh, the Space Marines don't run every aspect of these large ships in line. Um, we have our people in there um, feeding the reactors, helping with navigation, basic repairs, cleaning, cooking, all the stuff that goes on. The Marines themselves obviously are there to, well, strategize and to board enemy ships and raid enemy planets. So we don't waste time with scientists. Our tech priests are few and far between, but they essentially collate information coming from automated data storage. And that's really what our technology is about is sort of capturing information, logs, and repurposing technology we find to best meet our needs. And yeah. So Let's speed that along though. Like for instance here, we have a supercomputer. Let's just jump into this world. And there is the auto lab, completely automated research facility generating 30 research per turn. This, I mean, don't get me wrong. The supercomputer generates 10 research per turn and an additional two per scientist. We have no scientists. So in all, matters the auto lab is three times better than a supercomputer a research lab plus a supercomputer combined will give us 15 so the auto lab is as good as both sets of that twice as good as, as the auto lab and the supercomputer put together now let's just take a look at the tax base though so maintenance cost on a supercomputer is coming in at 2 bc whereas with the auto lab it's three obviously a research center is one so you're getting twice the research for the same cost as the auto lab and the supercomputer. So yeah, I say we fast track these auto labs everywhere possible. So we'll go auto lab and we're gonna, we're gonna push that up to the top there is my point. Long story short. <laughs> um, what else can we do here? Recyclotrons, yeah, let's get the auto lab in here. Now, considering the fact that we have I don't know, possibly as many as 30 colonies and each of them might generate 30 research with an auto lab. That comes to about 900 research by my rough calculation. That's related to the 560 we're generating right now. So what this allows us to do ultimately is jump ahead of the other Xeno species in research output without us having to force Terrans into learning and gaining knowledge and expanding their understanding of scientific magic, for lack of a better word. 
leave it to the tech priests and their prayers with the Omni Messiah. Am I right? Am I right, folks? Yeah. yeah. As a Terran, I really don't like to think too hard about science stuff. It makes me nervous, for lack of a better word. There we go. We'll just keep pushing these up to the top. So yeah, we're going to make a real hard run at technology at this point. The reason for that is that we really desperately want to see if there's a way to complete a Stargate, uh, a, a way to pierce the event horizon, any event horizon of our pocket dimension and theoretically return to the prime material galaxy that we've been so rudely plucked from. Probably by the Interns, but possibly by some other capricious Xeno force. All right, what else we got here? Atmospheric renewers, yeah. All all this um, all this stuff related to pollution. Obviously, we we don't care about pollution per se. We care about inefficiency. Obviously, Terrans are tough enough to handle large scale pollution. Uh, certainly, oftentimes. Most Terrans, at least back in the main galaxy, don't live past probably 40 years old, but that's not really our concern. We have plenty of people. What we don't have enough of is LAS guns, Space Marines, and Auto Labs at this point. Here we go. Missile base. Uh, I'm going to leave those defensive structures in place. Oh, don't do that. Because obviously the Xenos are trying to counterattack pretty much everywhere they can along the the line of contest. They've been hitting us hard. In particular, the Darlock, if you recall, have been sending their stealth ships to sneak attack us over and over. It's, it's getting exhausting. We've lost a huge number of colonists. A huge number of structures have fallen. But at this point, I'm willing to just let dead worlds lay fallow. I'm not we have more colonies than we almost can bear to manage at this point. So I'm not concerned about that at all. Now let's push the auto lab up. And one more spaceport. That's it. I know it's dull to watch me reassign work for all of our, our um, planetary governors out there. That should do for the time being. Obviously, uh, let's get these old Xeno ships to Stardock at Knoll here. And we'll see what we can do with them. So, actually, we have already got the Ogre at Null. So, let's jump into Null 1, which is our larger planet. They have a Purger in there. Let's jump into Change. And let's hit Refit. You cannot refit a captured ship. We had already kind of figured that. So, at this point, I think it'll be worth scrapping the Xeno ships. So, I will, again, select the Ogre, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll have to do it through the Fleets tab. I'm going to Fleets. We'll find the Ogre right here. Selector and Scrapper. We'll get 225 BC. Yes. No technology gained. That's fine. Turn. Select Combat at Nom. So we just sent the main fleet to Nom. We captured Nom 3. Here is Nom 5. No defenses whatsoever. They sent a single destroyer. Fine. We'll attempt to capture her why not and as you recall the darlock fleet is rapidly collapsing i might as well try and capture the ship though we'll again try and extract technology from it so ah, <laughs> i'm gonna actually turn off the weapons because i will most likely destroy the ship we'll hit done Oh boy, I hope she doesn't try and self-destruct, actually. I'll hit done. We're going to race all of our ships forward. Done. And I'm going to retreat out the remainder at this point, just so I don't have to deal with them. She fires. Our other ships will retreat. We'll leave the three ships of the line to try and capture the destroyer. I'm happy to destroy enemy ships, but if we can capture them, that's also good. So... We'll move forward. We will adjust our view slightly. Let's see if we can punch through the shields on this. That should not be a problem for us. Uh, we'll just try the heavy, gra heavy gravity beam. There you go. And we'll wait our turn. We'll advance in. We'll disable the other weapons. 
using the tractor beam. Ship is mobilized, and at this point, we'll see if we can board through that shield. There we go. Ship captured. They did manage to kill a single Marine. That is impressive. On a 10v8, they were able to kill one of ours. That's admirable. Again, technology they probably stole from us. The Darlock are extremely devious, underhanded Xenos. And we'll invade. Yeah, 12 power suits to the surface. No losses. That doesn't surprise me. Planet is ours. No Xeno technology captured by our, our space marines on the ground, unfortunately. So we've got a new transport done, and we finished a marine barracks. We will annihilate the Xenos. Yes, please. And in the meantime, let's get them that marine barracks. Let's get a missile base, research labs, Baseport, Starbase, and then, yeah, that auto lab up there. And one more thing. How about a holo simulator? Perfect. We'll hit OK. We'll hit return. Now, at this point, we'll probably want to leave a couple defensive ships behind at Nam. That's a massive battle group, way more than we need, especially since we seem to have already broken the back of the Darlock fleet. We've seen that, that strike fleet they were sending against, um, what, what did they hit? Thog? Nam, Horn, Dolts, I believe. They struck all those, but the fleet just kept getting smaller and smaller. So that being said, let's break off two of our Z our ships. Actually, let's leave a couple of these Xeno ships for the time being. How about just the Seeker? Uh, yeah, let, 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 let's do this. We'll leave these three behind and send everything else on in the battleship, uh, the battle fleet, sorry. Um, where do we want to strike to first though? Draconis? Coming from the back, eh, not really. I'd rather isolate them. Let's send them on to Ravati here. And we'll sweep off essentially to the Celestial West, headed that way. And then kind of group all the Xenos together in their just diminishing portion of the of the um, pocket dimension. Now, what do we have at Zub in here? Probably a couple transports. Oh, wow. That's functionally entire another strike fleet. Let's send them to Thugon? Thugon? Yeah, let's do that. They should be more than enough to capture whatever's there. And then let's send additional transports on. Let's amass them at Gamus for a deep strike into Ursula, which should be one of the Xeno capital worlds. Now, what do we have at Zoth? Two battleships? I wonder if Zoth is now a effectively out of range of Xeno strikes. Probably. Now, Z Zaban is under threat by an Interran strike force, which will probably be sufficient to completely eradicate at least one of the colonies at Zaban. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's pluck a single ship away from Zoth. We'll send it on to Gamus, and let's pluck one of these ships. We have three of them at um, Orion. Let's grab the Perjure 1.5 and send it on to Gamus. Ultimately, again, we want to create a second strike force to capture Xenos colonies or destroy them as quickly as possible. Tarkuda has two ships defending. We'll pluck one away and we will again send that on to Gamus. So, yeah, we'll have multiple strike forces. And again, we're going to be utilizing the wormholes to rapidly move from our controlled space into Xeno controlled space with minimal time. It's a lightning strike for all intents and purposes. Lightning warfare. It's something I just invented in my mind just now. I'll call it um, lightning warfare. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with another name for it. I'm not that creative. So that being said, we have a couple Xenos fleets in sensor range. Two ships of the line there at Altair with a bunch of, of transports. Another ship en route, a, th a third battleship heading to Altair, and then here at Wasit, a single ship of the line. Of course, we have no sign whatsoever of any Darlock ships. Again, we attribute that to the, some sort of unknown, as unknown, stealth technology that they possess. It may be innate to their species. Let's advance our turn. Here we go. Microlight construction uses microscopic nanomachines to construct buildings and ships with less metal, but with the same strength and durability. Increases productivity of all workers by one plus one production. That's massive. And that's across our entire uh, mini empire. And it's instantaneous. We don't have to construct something to gain advantage of that. And then here, nano disassemblers. I 
believe that was a technology we had already captured. Microscopic nanomachines capable of breaking down environmental contaminants double the number of production units a planet can produce before any pollution is created. But again, I don't think our astrotechs in the Zorchium armor, same thing. Ships with this armor have four times the base structure and armor points. The hit points of fighters are multiplied by two, adds 15 to ground troop combat strengths. And since Sorchium armor is controlled by some Xeno species, that's helping their ground troops. That's probably part of the reason the Darlock have been so effective against our space marines. And by effective, I mean that a uh, kill ratio of uh, 8 to 1, something like that, which is more than I'd like to see. I would like for no marines to ever be lost if, if I had the choice. We're closing in here, though. Just a couple more options. Astro University or Robotic Factory. We're going to take that Robotic Factory first. That'll greatly improve our overall production. Now, it'll probably also push up our pollution, but we're finding a lot of ways to mitigate pollution, thus increasing efficiency. Battle station, completed. Marine barracks, transport ship, more marine barracks. <laughs> Can't get enough of them. And missile bases. That's right. Marines are the name of the game, folk. Look at this. Here on New Terra Prime, we have 12 armored space marines. They could probably take out, I have no doubt, 80 regular infantry from any Xenos colony. I would love to see that fight, actually. I did. I can't get the Xenos to drop Marines on any of our colonies in large enough numbers to make it a fight worth having, but we can, we can always hope for that battle. Bit of pollution here, but yeah, we want that auto lab first and foremost. And then another purger? Sure. Why not? Okay, we'll hit return. I see our colony, our freighter fleet starting to recover is colonists are being dropped off. But let's just jump into colonies real quickly. Sort by population. I want to make sure that we don't have any colonies laying unoccupied by with Terrans. Did we get someone to rebar too? You know what? Why risk it? Let's just pluck someone off of Zoth. We'll send them on their way. Five turns. Why not? We know we've got it covered. Sla, two turns. Yeah, let's grab someone from Cetus, send them on their way, eight turns. That's fine. And other than that, we're looking pretty good. Ramad, I don't know if the freighters to send more people. For the time being, we'll call that good. We will advance the turn. We actually have quite a bit of BC production. We may want to help purchase out some autofacts initially. And then let's jump to Knoll here and disassemble those Xeno ships at Knoll. Cycle through real quickly. Obviously, the Avenger we're going to keep is that's Captain Lochnar's ship. Where, where is this ship sitting right now? It's quite hard to tell on here. The Viper. Yeah, let's um let's scrap the Viper. Nothing gained. That's fine. And I believe, where are these ships at? The Star Streak? We'll scrap her. The ship is not at a Terran colony. We, oh, we do not want to do that. Okay, perfect. So that is part of the reason why we do send these Xeno ships back to a major Starbase facility so it can be properly scrapped. Obviously, hopefully one that's been overwatched by one of our Astro Techs. Uh, Astro Priest. Viper Scrap. Okay. And also the Cobra Scrap. Okay. So I would love to send these ships off for scrapping at some point. It's really neither here nor there, though. We have more ships ultimately than we need. In fact, up at Simac here, they just completed one of the new Persia 1.7s. That's fantastic. Let's move it forward. Possibly. To, well, let's let's send it to Gamus as well, actually. So it, as you see here, we've launched in from Zubin to Nam, and we've sent the fleet off to Ravadi. We're building a battle group at Gamus to attack into Ursula. We could certainly send our fleet at Ramad into Wasit, and we could build another battle fleet at Tarkuda. So let's def send our fleet back from Rebar, back to Tarkuda, and then we'll jump into Saxon with that. So we'll pluck off a 1.4 
and another 1.4. We'll leave them on defense. We'll send that fleet to Tarkuda in two turns, and then they'll use the Wormhole to pierce into Saxon. So yeah, and then let's see it in Mentar. That's actually a pretty decent sized strike fleet. We could just jump them straight across to Wasset right now. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's actually pluck the Persia 1.4 off, and we'll jump to Wasset. Now, I could see the Alcarians trying to counterattack the Monkar, but you know what? I say let them. Let them bring it. Um, I'll leave the 1.5 here at Ross and send this Perjure on to Monkar just for a little bit of extra defense. But ultimately, we do want to be pushing our defensive perimeter line forward along the, the line of contact. We'll hit done. What do we have at Zoth? Single ship. I don't want to go less than that. Orion, I want to protect with two. Ramad should have two. It does. Perfect. We're building that fleet as our Kuda. Slaw has a single ship defending. Ross has the single ship defending. Yeah, we're playing it pretty loosey-goosey. Um, I could see counterattacks coming out of Altar towards us. But yeah, I'm going to pluck one of those 1.4s and send them off to Tarkuda as well. I'm trying to push the fight forward as quickly as possible here. We'll hit turn. Combat at Ravadi. Oh boy. I'm going to hold off there. They actually have a pretty good defensive line at Ravadi. Battle Station, Missile Base, Fighter, Garrison. And we don't have any... Uh, combat at Thugon. Yeah, we could do that one. Let's let's fight here. Transport ships is what the Ravadi battle group is missing. I don't want to take the colony until we have some transport, some space marines ready to land. Because again, the main point of us landing troops at all is capturing technology, not the colony. Okay, let's advance our fleet forward. I'll just hit done. Done. And, oh, should have advanced them. That was my bad. Here we go. Let's jump in. Target these four missiles. No hits. I'm going to um, ignore the missile alert. Close in. Fire everything we have on the station. Shields are down. Board. We'll send all ten marines. And we capture with no losses. Perfect. Fight's over. Colony's ours. We'll invade with eight power suits. Single infantry. Pathetic. The Xenos are wiped away. And they are... Oh, this is our fleet at Wasat already. So, Battle Station Missile Base, single battleship against our three cruisers and the battleship, which is the Avenger. So, this should be a fun fight, but nothing we can't win. So, that being said, we know that we need to bombard the missile base off the surface. We have our missile cruisers to do that. Let's jump the Avenger in and take this ship out fast as we can, fast as we like. Now, she could board. We could capture. No uh, tractor beam on the Avenger, though. So we'll see what happens. We'll just fire everything onto the battleship. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go exactly how I thought it was going to go. That's fine. Um <laughs> Let's take out the old battle station. We didn't puncture her shields. Interesting. Oh, that's fine. And can we get the neutron bombs to the surface? No, we can't. We'll hit done. And we'll start firing missile volleys at the planetary surface. Again, we'll get those two salvos, then we'll re retreat the cruisers out. They fire onto the Avenger, doing a moderate amount of damage. That's nothing to sneeze at. Now, I don't want to completely destroy the battle station, do I? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If we destroy it, it's destroyed. If not, then we capture her. Board? Yes, please. Station's ours. No losses. There were no Marines left. As you know, the um, Death Ray scours all life uh, off of the station or ship. And here we go. 15 neutron bombs onto the surface. That, that's it. That's done. The Avenger is an extremely effective ship especially with Lochnar at her helm we'll invade with 40 power suits this shouldn't be any sort of contest a tank infantry and even a militiamen wow it's good i respect the xenos are fighting to the last although it is it is their last yes and those are our scout reports so we have uh we lost a spy against the darlock 
I believe we have at least one colony generating new spies, training them at all times. Starbase completed, Battle Station completed, New Purge 1.7, an auto lab and another auto lab among other ships you can see our research rp is climbing quickly um, on our research tab we will annihilate these xeno scum and let's get them that marine barracks followed by a research lab followed by a missile base and then what let's get that auto lab starbase spaceport and one other structure how about a supercomputer here we go Click done, click return, and we're going to annihilate conquered, uh, I don't want to say colonists, they're not colonists, <laughs> they're, they're Xeno scum, but we're going to eradicate them. Marine barracks, missile base, uh, let's get that auto lab, spaceport, star base, supercomputer, stock exchange, perfect, click done, and Persia 1.7 just finished it, Nutera. And we'll get them an auto lab as well. I didn't want to drop the priority of our Persian 1.7s for auto labs. I don't need them that badly, but we'll have these auto labs it lickety split here. Here's Tarkuda 2 with their single colonist. Yeah, it's kind of getting things going. Good amount of production. No pollution right now. That's looking really good. Let's get them, though, that battle station and the Recyclotron. And then we'll queue up a few spies in there. Just give them something to do. It's only that one person working there, as you know. Nutera completed Battleship. Awesome. Let's send it to Gamus. And we had just attacked where? At Ravati. We didn't attack, but we needed to get transports to them. So we have a massive, ma massive battle group at Nam. It's huge. Wow. Let's do this. Let's... Deselect. We're going to send a single transport to Ravati. And then we will send this... Well, we don't need that many ships. Let's send five ships of the line and a single transport onto Draconis. Sure. There you go. We really need to start distributing our transports out to all of our battle groups. But we don't have a really good concentration of... Well... We do actually, we have eight transports here at Wasset, which we just captured. Does Tarkuda have any? No. So I'm actually gonna break apart some of these transports. We gotta sort of distribute them around here. We'll send them on to Tarkuda. And unfortunately this battle group is sort of at a dead stop until we can get additional ships to help defend Wasset. Now we can leave Wasset undefended, but it obviously runs the risk of being counterattacked and destroyed so let's pluck off a single ship of the line we'll send it on to Wasset. once it gets there avenger with Lochnar at the helm we'll take those missile ships and push further into the soccer territory they have no warships just transports at this point It'll, it will be their loss we'll advance the turn and we're going to hold off again because we don't have any transport and actually i realize we're probably going to want a couple more ships of the line in on that battle since they've now extended to the the star base the missile base the fighter garrison and, and look like a ground battery was that what's there okay here's our summary turn uh turn summary auto lab star base recyclotron annihilated the last colonists <laughs> again xenos on soccer they're not colonists in marine barracks we're at Simic 2, almost no pollution to speak of. These folks are doing really well, but we're going to get them that auto lab. That's probably all they need there. And I'll follow that up with the purger. We'll hit OK. We'll hit return. Another auto lab at New Terra 2. Gosh, I, I can't believe I can't beat down the rest of that pollution. It's it's that bad there. The production's that high. They don't even have the um, the robotic factory yet which we'll have in a couple of turns here. But yeah, Ravati looks like it is defended heavily enough to where I do want to send on a couple more ships of the line. We could actually take some serious losses in that fight. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's considerable conflict for sure. And we'll advance the turn. We're going to wait for the extra battleship to arrive. Galactic News Network, farmers in the Soccer Empire rejoiced when a sudden shift in the Pistrix 
Prime Colony's planetary axis resulted in the improvement of its environment to Terran norms. Okay, that's one of the few planets the Sakura have left of them. They have more food now. Uh, this is awesome. Commissioner Crassus has advanced to a plus 40% as a labor leader. Now that is the the governor in charge of the, the new Terra system, if I'm not mistaken. The Alkari steal the structural analyzer. Interesting. Now, on our turn summer, we've completed a Persian 1.7, an auto lab, a marine barracks, and a star base. I think we need to get more agents in here. I, I really don't like the idea of them stealing from us, and I would like to do more spine before we completely eliminate those Xeno species. So, with that being said, let's jump into Rigel. They're not really ready to do this. Ah, dang it. Ramad 1? We don't have an auto lab yet. They're not ready. <laughs> Trying to find a colony that has everything taken care of. Here we go. Yes, let's start loading up that queue with spies here. And do we want to... Yeah, let's do Let's do two things. Let's just buy the purger out right. Ooh, that's expensive. Let's not burn. Let's not build it out right. <laughs> let's let New Terra 2 finish the purger, and then we'll get them onto some spy production for a little bit. Although it's overkill, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's why we don't want New Terra... They would overproduce on that so hard. So we need we need a place that's slightly less efficient. Rotan, they're not ready to make start. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna bump that up here. Auto lab here after they finish that. Let's hit okay. Is there any place that's really ready to take on production in scale? of spies not really we'll find them as they come up i'm overthinking it but we do need to get more spies generated that being said wasit we're going to leave behind a single defending ship and we'll attract attack to pistrix with our massive transport fleet and is our tarkuda quite ready to go yet yeah they actually look like they are ready to go let's send them through the through the wormhole to saxon that looks good and we have battle fleets en route to Draconis, Ravati, and of course at Gamus we've assembled actually a pretty decent sized fleet. Let's get them moving on right now to Ursula. We'll see what we can take there. Noel has a single ship. Oh, Persia 1.7 completed. Perfect. We'll move them to the front. Um, where? At Ramad? No, not Ramad. That's unnecessary. We already struck through Murad to Wasit. So to where? Let's, let's reinforce them to Tar Tarkuda right now. Here we go. So combat at Draconis, no defenses of any kind. The, the, the planets ours will invade. Eight infantry, one militia. They should pose no difficulty, no losses. That's wonderful. Unfortunately, we did not capture any technology. I'm a little disappointed. And here's combat at Ursula. No planetary defenses. One sh battleship and one destroyer. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem for us. Um, we'll advance forward. We'll hit done. It's going to bring everyone forward right now, and I'll worry about capturing on the next round of combat. It's nice working with these smaller fleets, though. Just easier to handle and maintain stuff. I wonder if the Xeno ships will retreat out. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll... Um, Crush through the shields here. Those are actually pretty durable shields. Um, I'm going to hit wait on this ship just in case we have a chance of capturing later. Oh, let's try this. Uh, I want to send assault shuttles to see if we can capture <laughs> that little ship there. So let's disable the nukes and maybe the heavy mass drive. So that's odd. Can we fire everything else? Trying to punch through without destroying the ship outright. We'll hit done. Let's get the ship in. We'll fire again, trying to take down those. Sh oh. 
Ah, the death ray. That was my bad. That was, that was my bad. That, that was on me. I didn't quite mean to, to do that. Tractor beam is offline. We'll hit done. Ah, right. Let's tractor beam the ship here. I'm turn everything off. Tractor beamer. We'll hit wait. We'll bring this ship in. We'll turn everything off. Tractor beam. That should get the immobilization. And then let's use our point defense phasers to see if we can punch through. Yeah, I mean, the shields are down on that side. Can we board from this range? No, ship's out of range. Will it done? And can we board from this ship? Yes. There we go. Simple. Hit done. No ships lost. We weren't expecting any losses. Let's invade. Two infantry, one militia. And they are feeble. Let me tell you, the Alkari Marines are exceedingly feeble. It's almost like small children trying to defend their homes. And we're just taking their homes from them. Um, pulse on missile. Carries a powerful high energy pulse capable of delivering 20 points of damage. Modifications... MERV, Missions Guidance, Fast, Armored, and ECCM. That's fantastic technology we wanted. And here's combat at Rivadi. And we're ready to go. Yeah. Four battleships and destroyer. One transport ship against all this. This could be a good fight. This could be a really good fight. Now we have one Xeno ship in the fleet with us. But tractor beams will not matter here. So what do we want to do? We want to fire everything onto the planetary surface right now. Obviously, as soon as we get to the battle station, we'll punch through and capture her, taking her off the board in a hurry with a quickness. We have a lot of structures on that planet to destroy, though, so that's why I'm a little bit excited. Um, we have plenty of nuclear bombs on the Star Street, too, which is not a bad thing. We can get her right up close to that planet for a little orbital, orbital bombardment, which is, which is always an exciting thing. And fun way to spend the day. Oh, that was extremely effective. That was the death ray. Did 57 points of damage from range. Now, as you recall, in our new redesign for the Persia 1.7s, we have removed all missiles. We have a couple bombs that we remove missiles. If the death ray is that effective. We could probably remove the bombs at this point as well. So maybe something to look for on a redesign of the Persia 1.8. Other than that, we will hit done. Destroyer's gone. Oh, wow. They are hitting hard. Wow. That is that is something else. We're going to get in nice and close, though. We will fire on the interceptors. Yeah. We'll fire again on the planet. We'll hit done. Let's get in even closer. Oh, my. They're just throwing everything at us here, aren't they? We took out a missile, and we'll fire on the planet again. We really need to get to that battle station. Let's hit done. We'll bring the ship in. The Star Shriek took some damage, but her shields are up, so she's not looking too bad. Took out two interceptors there. Firing on the planetary surface. We'll hit done. And let's get this ship in. We'll fire on some missiles. Firing on the planet. And none of the ships are quite close enough to take that star base yet. This is a tough fight, though, for sure. They are hitting us hard. Wow. Okay. Fire on the interceptors. Um, can we get in closer? I'm afraid we might lose the ship altogether. Mm. Fire on the planet. We'll hit done. I'm not exactly sure how to rectify this at this point. Took out a couple more interceptors. Firing on the planet. We'll hit done. I'm going to have this ship just fire on these guys and attack from range. We'll hit done. And then, yeah, like, can we get this ship right in? No. I took out one missile. I'm going to ignore the missile alert. In... We, we got to take out the battle station, bottom line. Shields are down. Board. There we go. We did capture. That's impressive. 23 defenders. 
We sent in nine attackers. We lost three, but we took out all 23 of theirs. The battle station is ours. That's really going to help out our situation. And are we close enough to get a fusion bomb on there? Yeah, 19 points of damage. That's nothing to sneeze at. We lost a battleship. Um, let's close in all the way. Oh, there's more missiles en route. Dang it. I'm all, uh, that ship's nearly destroyed as well. This has been an extremely tough fight. A couple interceptors hit. I'm going to ignore the missile alert and get this ship in as tight as I can. Firing on the planet. I really want to get those bombs onto the planetary surface. Let's hit done. And let's rotate. Uh, can we rotate her? Oh, she's immobilized. That's not great. No, that was a good solid hit, though. Oof. Oof. I'm going to go auto here. Weapons free. Wow, we lost. That is great. Um, it means that the... Uh, it means that the Darlock have a bit of fight left in them. That was something else. Combat at Saxon. Battle station, missile base, fighter garrison in a single battleship. So this is the Alkari. So I have a feeling the Alkari and the Sakra will be swept aside here quite quickly. But I am slightly impressed with how tough the Darlock are at this point. They're able to hit our ships really easily. We're not able to target their fighter or their missiles very effectively at all. Is this possible the Persia 1.7s with their phasers will will cut through those small small vessels much more quickly? Advancing in again, we'll try and capture the battleship and the starbase quick as we can. And there is just the missile base and the fighter garrison on the planetary surface. We'll hit done. So you can see the difference there. The Alkari ships just aren't hitting us to any great degree. I mean, they're barely denting our armor. We'll punch through there. Hit done. And yeah, let's get this ship right in. Their standoff is really effective, I must say. Um, can we fire on these missiles? No, nothing left there. Let's get right up close and personal. Shields are down. Unfortunately, we don't have enough tractor beams to disable her yet. Oh, she is immobile now. Perfect. And can we board through that gap in the shield? Yes. Perfect. We lost one, but we killed 20. So great fight. We'll hit done. And they're doing a good amount of damage. Um, it's amazing how even though their their beam weapons are very ineffective, large fighter squadrons and massive missile volleys, <laughs> they get the job done. Holy cows, do they get the job done. Okay. Um, this is a Purge of 1.4. So unfortunately, again, they're holding us off very effectively. We got to get that missile base down. It done. Uh, let's take this squadron apart. So that's three more out of the squadron there. We'll hit done. Fire on the squadron. 34 to 29. We got five that time. That's good. And let's see if we can get in close and take out this battle station. Shields are not quite down. We'll hit wait. Um, I'm going to get our ship to here. Can I rotate? Fire. I'm trying to punch through those shields. Oh, I don't know if they're quite down yet. Oh, no. Because I can't bring her to bear. I'll have to fire on the planet instead. We'll hit done. And I will try and board, although I think there's a... Oh, the shield is down. 40 Marines defending against our 10 attackers. We killed all 40. They killed one of ours. I will call that a, a win for us. They are hitting us so hard here. Do they have interceptors coming off the battle station? Is that what's going on here? Let's do a quick scan. Battle scanner, structural interrupt. No, they do not have... They do not have fighters coming off the battle station, but I feel like I'm seeing more fighters now. 
five interceptors and five interceptors. A bunch of Xeon missiles. Okay. No big deal. Uh, scan off. We'll fire on the interceptors. Oh, that's already done. All right. We'll let them keep targeting the Persia 1.4 back here. I'm not going to bring her any closer. Um, I could see that causing a lot of troubles. Rotate into the planet. We'll fire on the missiles. Totally ineffective. We got none of them. And we'll start bombing the planetary surface. We got to get this missile base down. Um, yeah, we'll bring her in here. Rotator. And I'm just going to fire everything onto the planetary surface. The fusion bombs did not drop. Interesting. Hit done. That's unfortunate. The Persia 1.4 is still intact. We're down to 22 fighters there. Fired on the planet. We'll hit done. Can I hit these missiles? No, I, I can't hit the missiles at all. So we just need to finish off the missile base altogether, which we, we understand. And can I get this ship closer? Rotator. Uh, are the bombs not falling? I, I don't quite understand why the bombs aren't targeting the planet here. I don't know what to do about that. I've, I, I feel like I'm missing something. Those fusion bombs are able to hit. The missile base is left. Oh my, I'm gonna go auto here, weapons free. I'm a little concerned about our ability to win this fight right now because I, I just couldn't get those missiles to fire. I don't know, or the, the bombs to fall. Fortunately, the, fighter gear, the fighters are gone at this point. So it's just the missile base we're trying to burn through before those missiles burn through our ships. Now, we can bring a ship of the line out of this fight from the capture. Oof. Oh, it's going to come right down to it. Holy cows. We just won. All right. We'll invade with 24 power suits. A couple of tanks, three infantry, one militiaman. No losses. That's fantastic. Oh, and our general has captured some new technology. The ion drive. Capable of moving a ship four parsecs a turn. All ship drives are automatically upgraded when this technology is discovered. It's possible we have a better drive already. I'm not really sure. And Draconis is an ancient artifact world. Fantastic. And it is ours. And Saxon is ours. We lost another spy sent against the Darlock. We've completed a Recyclotron, an Autolab, a Purger 1.7, another Recyclotron, and another Purger 1.7. We will annihilate these colonists. We don't need your stinking research. We're going to have them work on Marine Barracks, Missile Base, Robo Miner Plant, Starbase, Autolab, Spaceport, and Research Lab. We'll hit OK, hit Return, and we'll annihilate these colonists as well. Moving them all to production. I'll tell you, we may need more freighter fleets at this point. We have so many colonists we have to move around our system at this point. We'll get that auto lab in there though. Stock exchange, supercomputer. They already have a hollow simulator. Interesting. That's actually pretty advanced for them. Do I need a gravity generator? I'm not going to worry about that yet because they're all going to be gone. So that kind of fixes that problem. How about the uh, battle station? Eh, whatever. Okay, we'll hit return. Here we are at Rigel 2. They completed a battle station. Look at this wonderful production. No inefficiency, no pollution whatsoever. And that's really because of Aury here. Uh, reducing pollution by, I think, 45% in the system. We'll have her work on the auto lab though. We'll get that recyclotron. It does generate additional uh, production and we will get um, spy. Let's get another freighter fleet and a couple more spies. Just sort of a little general consumable production. This is Moretta Prime finished to Persia 1.7. Could they work on spies? Not quite. We need the auto lab, the recyclotron, the battle station. I'm trying to get some colonies like sort of up to date so we can freely have them work on spies without wasting their overproduction. Zubin might be a perfect candidate for that. 
They'll get the auto lab. Yeah, let's have Zubin work on that. So auto lab next and then spies. You can see the build time on those spies is two turns. So we're not wasting their, their production in that process. Hit return and we will annihilate these conquered colonists. Yes, please. Let's annihilate all of them. And actually let's have a few of them work on food production. So it's not pulling away from our freighter fleet to feed these folks. Uh, Marine barracks, missile base, Robo Miner Plant, Star Base, Hollow Simulator, Auto Lab, Stock Exchange. Okay, return. So listen, they have done some serious damage to our ships. That's not in question. We are going to have to strike at Ravadi again. So I'm going to leave, how about a couple of the old uh, Perger 1.4s behind a Dr Draconis to defend we will retreat the fleet back to Ham and from there, sorry, Nam, and from there we'll group up and strike again at Ravadi. Now, Thugon here has an entire strike force ready to go. We'll leave a, oh, these are all Persia 1.7s. That's nice. We'll leave a single Persia behind to help hold it. We'll send that fleet on to Nam and from there we'll strike into Ravadi. Moretta has a Persia 1.7 completed. Get them onto Gamus and get that strike force assembled. Montone has another 1.7. We'll get them to Gamus. And what is actually sitting in orbit at Gamus right now? Single ship defending. Of course, we we managed to win at Ursula. That's not bad. Should we can continue on to Altair? Could we win at Altair with four ships the line? Well, we'd leave one behind, wouldn't we? Leave a Perger 1.2 behind. And how about we leave the hawk behind? Yeah, let's uh, let's send them on to Altair here. It might be a tough fight. We might have some losses, but I'm um, just kind of having fun with it at this point. Do we want to? Well, let's see. We'll leave those two ships behind, actually, and we will send the transport fleet on to Altair. They should get there just behind the main attack fleet. Just checking up here, probably just want a single battleship at each of these worlds left to defend at this point. We will send that 1.4 to meet the main fleet at Altair. And the reason that I don't think we need to leave a whole lot behind anymore is the enemy fleets are getting spread so thin. I think we're going to be destroying them pretty effectively as we advance. So we'll leave a single battleship behind at each world. Just scanning through, checking. Slaw. Tarkuda is kind of building up an additional fleet. I think we have a battleship en route right now to meet up. You know what? Let's just send those transports on to Saxon. It's the quickest way to get them into the fight. Ramad, single ship. Orion, we're going to keep the two ships there just because Orion is so valuable to us, so prized. Zoth doesn't need two ships. Let's leave the Persia 1.1 there, and we'll advance these guys to Gamus. So the fight's going fast and furious at this point. We have a lot of food overproduction, but we need more freighters quick as we can get them. So let's do this real quick. Let's spend a little bit of that BC we've been saving up in our piggy bank. Let's help these folks here complete these marine barracks. Marine Barracks is usually one of the first buildings we, we make, so we're just going to help them get that done real fast. And yeah, we need... We need more people at Thugon, but we need more freighters to do that. Can I free up freighters by feeding people? Hold on. Is there a way to eliminate food and free up freighters? Yes. Switching everyone over. That's just barely getting the job done there. Let's switch to food production real quick. We'll start by food production. I think all of these worlds are producing a surplus. Yeah, they are. We got a lot of surplus. Hold on. Scroll down. Where else? They have just enough. They have just enough. They have just enough. All these food worlds are really good at feeding themselves. Boom. There we go. That freed up a freighter. Just trying to scrape off some extra freighters at this point. They have just enough food. They have just enough food. We don't really have other food producing worlds at this point. Eh, 
there. Got us a surplus for sure. It's a little inefficient to have these guys pull off a of production. But yeah, we need more freighter fleets. So let's do this. Let's sort by production one more time. Let's jump into our purger 1.7, 18 turns or mod, and let's get a couple of freighter fleets jumped up ahead of that purger. So they'll finish really quickly. But yeah, our needs to transport colonists at this point is so high. We don't really have a choice. Combat at Pistrix. Um, neither world is defended. Great. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take Pistrix 1. Invade. Jeez, the Sakura are not long for this galaxy, I'll tell you what. No losses. Total annihilation. Ooh, we capture the inertial stabilizer. Creates a partial warp field that can operate in normal space. It vastly improves the ship's mobility and makes it considerably harder to target. Adding plus 50% to the beams, ship's beam defense and having movement costs for turning. Probably not going to put that module on. We already have quite a few modules competing for space on our ships. And that is something you have to add into your ship design. Robotic factory completed. Builds mechanical workers that add production Depends on the colony's mineral resource. So whether it's ultra poor, poor, normal, I think, <laughs> is that what it's called? Rich or very rich. Uh, 5, 8, 10, 15, or 20. But yeah, the nice thing about the robotic factory is it doesn't take any workers for it to be functional. The final thing at the 2000 RP level is the Astro University. So we'll select it. I see some very good technologies awaiting for us here. Scouts arrive in the Pistrix system. We'll capture that other colony on the next turn. Marine bar barracks completed. Spy completed. We annihilated the last Alkari at Rebar. Missile base uh, 1.7 completed. Pollution processor and other buildings. We will annihilate these Xeno scum. And we'll get them an automated factory. Marine Barracks, Missile Base, Research Lab, Auto Lab, Starbase, Spaceport. Getting busy for a while. Biosphere completed the Zuban. I think we purchased that for them just now out of our piggy bank. There's actually quite a few more things they do need though. So let's get that Auto Lab. Supercomputer, Robotic Factory, Recyclotron, Pollution Processor. Battle Station? We haven't been building fighter garrisons. Yeah. I think that makes sense because we don't ever really get attacked at our colonies, at least our developed colonies. We'll hit done. Battle station completed at Rigel Prime. That's perfect. They have a good amount of pollution here. What can we do to help mitigate that? Well, let's start with atmospheric renewer, then the robotic factory, then the recyclotron, auto lab. That looks good. Keep them out of our hair for a little bit. Purge 1.7 finished at New Terra Prime. Oof. Yeah, I could have them make spies, but it would be overkill. They would they would produce them too rapidly. So let's get that robotic factory. It's going to boost their production to even more insane levels. In on New Terra Prime, it is a rich world, so that'll yield a... What is it? Here, I want to see what that'll yield. That will yield a 15 extra production. That's fantastic. We'll hit return. Ships streaming out everywhere. Let's get the 1.7 to Zubin, and then we can send it through to Nam via the wormhole. It's a little bit quicker way to travel. And is the war fleet at Gamus ready to move on to Ursula? Yeah, let's push them forward. Thugon has a single ship defending. Yeah, yeah, the Darlock are the, the really the last cookie to crack here. Checking out the Alkari fleet. Single battleship at Calisius and Osiris? Or Osiris? Yeah, Osiris. Has a single destroyer, it looks like. That is pathetic. Altair. Defending with two battleships and a bunch of transports. Should be a pretty good fight. One destroyer, two battleships against R5 battleships. We will take the fight to Altair 1. Because there's no planetary defenses. So with any luck we can wipe away their fleet. And then we'll attack the other planet at Altair. So we'll move our ships forward. Hit done. Done. I'm not even going to fire anything yet. 
want to close the gap, mobilizing the ships as we move through them. Boom. And done. See what they do. They're able to hit pretty reasonably. We're in a nebula, by the way. That pinkish material here is disabling our shield. So you'll notice none of the ships have shields up. That kind of helps with our methods of boarding because all we have to do then is immobilize the ship, uh, preferably without completely destroying her. So let's start <laughs> tractor beaming and I'll hit wait. We'll move in this ship. I will avoid the missile alert, get all the way in there. Wow, that did some serious damage. We will turn off all weapons except for the tractor beam. Ship is still not immobilized. We will wait. Let's get this ship zipped in. We'll turn off all weapons except for the tractor beam. It, she is immobilized. I'll board now. Ship is ours. No losses. Fantastic. Um, I can't repurpose the tractor beam onto this little guy, or I would. Will it, will it done? Since she's already boarded, she can't board again at this point. We'll jump this ship in. We'll turn off all weapons. Put the tractor beam on. We'll hit um, done. In this ship, we might be able to get a capture right now. Let's turn off the heavy death ray because it'll definitely destroy this little ship. We'll use a single tractor beam and we'll hit done. So let's... Uh, it, it we'll, we'll pass on these ships that waited. There's nothing they can do this turn. She's retreating. She's retreating out. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Eight power suits against eight infantry. No losses. That does not surprise me. No technology gained. Oh, I skipped combat at Pistrix. Dang it. My bad. It is again your turn to be crushed beneath the great force that is the Interran army. Our turn. Oh boy. You can see here at the Altair system, ancient artifacts are discovered. Fantastic. We finished Robotic Factory. Purge 1.7 completed, Freighter Fleet completed, Battle Station completed, Autolab, and Spaceport, among other things. We will annihilate these conquered colonists and see if we can get them to feed themselves. No, they can't feed themselves. Autofact done, Marine Barracks, Missile Base, Research. You know, obviously, as some of you may be detecting at this point, we might not get new colonists to replace the exterminated colonists with some of these. That's okay, though. We have far more colonies than we could possibly need at this stage. Let's get the auto lab done. Recyclotron, robotic factory. We'll hit done. Return. And robotic factory finished here at New Terra Prime. The world is looking really good, and let's have them work on the Persia 1.7s. We'll hit return. All right. And Terrans en route to Avalar. Two cruisers, it's a significant combat force. Let's see what the defenses look like at Avalar. Starbase, missile base. Okay, so let's jump into the planets first things first and have them start to produce defenses. We'll get a missile base moved into the queue here. Bought it by the fighter garrison. I don't know if we will able to get that done in time, but we will purchase that missile base outright. Spending 114 dirt cheap and then we will jump to Avalar 4 and jump the space the star base ahead they already have a missile base we would also maybe potentially get a fighter garrison done there so we'll move that into second position and we will outright buy that star base for 570 it's nice having a lot of money in the piggy bank we'll hit return so each of those planets will be defended with a star base and a missile base now we just need to get ships there we have four turns to send them. And we're going to need quite the fleet. So from Rotan, 1.7 in two turns. We'll send the ship from Zoth. Absolutely. We're going to leave our defenders at Orion, but we can send the fleet at Gamus onwards. Two turns out. Can we redirect from Zubin? Yes, three turns to Avalar. And what do we got at Tarkuda? Yeah, let's redirect that ship as well. Four turns. Should get there just when the, the Antarans do. Is there anything else we can pull in? I guess from R Ramad? Yeah, we, we risk counterattack, obviously, but I would really like to take a swing at those Antaran cruisers. They will be tough ships. 
Um, let's call that good. Do we have a large enough fleet at Nam now to go take on Rivadi? Not yet. We've only got five ships of the line there with an additional two. So seven ships of the line against Rivadi. That I think we could manage. I think that would be a good tough fight. Draconis is sitting on top of their two ships. Decent sized battle group at Saxon. Ursula has also a decent sized battle group. Let's um let's bundle again together the um Saxon and Ursula group. Do we have transports to support them? We do. So let's leave a single purger behind. And we'll group these guys up with Ursula. So that'll give them the transports. And it should give them enough ships of the line to crack Halai or Kalis. And then Pistrix, we we do need to engage the enemy forces. We unfortunately skipped the combat there. So we'll hit done. We'll advance the turn. Combat at Altair. Yeah, they've got a lot. Battle station, missile base, fighter garrison against six battleships. Didn't mean to do that. Yes, let's take the fight to them. And again, as always, we will focus... Er oh, shoot. Interesting. Oh, this may go heavily in their favor. We're in a nebula. We have no shields. The planet doesn't benefit from shields ever. So it's to its advantage to have our ships have no shields while it has no need for shields, period. But with any luck, we have enough death rays to scour these... Uh, fighter garrison and missile base from the surface pretty quickly. We're advancing all of our ships forward as fast as we can, and we will capture, of course, the battle station as quick as we like. Purge 1.7, closing in. Firing on the planet with that death ray. Big hit. Hit done. And the death wing? Sure. Yeah. What the heck? We'll bring her in. She does have a whole bunch of nuclear bombs. If we can get her in range, she would do a number on that planet. So I, I can't complain about that. They're hitting extremely hard, obviously, because of the lack of our shields. We are right up on the battle station, which is fantastic. We're going to fire everything. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. I could have just boarded. That was silly. We board. Battle station's ours. 40 defenders killed with only one loss of our Marines. You know, we have nothing left to fire with, unfortunately, so we'll hit done. But what that tells us is we can advance our... Eh, no, we can't hit that. Okay, that's fine. Firing on the planet with the death ray. One of those structures is nearly down. We'll bring in this other fleet, and we will attack those interceptors. We took out two of them, and we fire on the planet. That knocked out nothing. We didn't get either structure. That is frustrating. Okay? We will bring this ship in we'll fire on the interceptors again hit nothing and we we'll fire on the planet that took out the missile base that's great that means they're down to fighter garrison let done and let's get this ship in here how badly damaged the perjure can take that missile salvo out we're going to fire on these interceptors and we want to destroy them as fast as we can we'll hit done actually let's go weapons free at this point let's go auto since we've captured everything we need to capture. There goes the Deathwing. One loss. It was a Xeno ship, so we don't really care. We'll invade the surface. Four tanks. Interesting. Bunch of infantry. 11 infantry. Three militia. Are they going to get even one of our Marines? No. That was a pretty awesome fight on our part. I mean, we had a huge army invading, but they couldn't even take out one of our Marines. And here's combat at Pistrix, so we will take on five. It's undefended, so it's just dropping Marines on the surface against 12 infantry. They'll get no kill. Oh, they got one. They did get a Marine, folks. Well, wow. we'll have to put a little plaque on the planetary surface to commemorate that fellow. Darlock Steel Spatial Compressor, that's a bummer. And we didn't capture any technologies there. So we lost a spy sent against the Darlac and the Alkari. We need to replace a lot of spies at this point. New Terra 3 finished a Persia 1.7. We trained another spy. We finished Autolab with spies in the queue at Zubin. Battle station completed and another Persia 1.7. So the battleships are coming online really fast. We will annihilate the conquered colonists. 
and we'll have them work on a robotic factory, marine barracks, missile base, research lab, star base, auto lab, and a hollow simulator. Why not? Lit well, okay. Recyclotron done. What do they need here? Well, they need an auto lab and a robotic factory. And then how about a few spies for us? And we'll hit OK. So we'll have a lot of spies coming up in the coming turns. This is Altair 2. You can see this is, I think, the home world of the Alkari. We will annihilate them, obviously. And they have plenty of food somehow. How, how are they generating all that food? All right, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get them the marine barracks, the missile base, robotic factory, star base, auto lab, stock exchange, supercomputer. Okay, return. Looks good. We just keep pushing the fleets forward. That's probably that's probably enough for today, folks. So when we return for the next log, we will probably jump one of the fleets at Juka, finishing off the Sakura completely. That'll free up those spies there, and we can put them on defense or whatever we need. The Alkari, since we've captured their homeworld of Altair, probably have really nothing left. These other colonies are not going to be a suitable replacement. I see a couple ships of the line, but because their fleets are scattered, they really pose no defensive threat to us. We functionally have two combat groups going. The Avenger with the Pistrix and the battle group at Altair. Yeah, we'll have them knocked out in, in another battle group at Ursula. Yeah, actually, let's just send the battle groups on right now. Just so it, 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 we know it's going to happen. So we're, we're ready. So the Altair group will move on to Osiris. I'm not even going to defend. I, I don't think it's necessary to. And we'll send this group on to Juka. That'll leave Kalis is the only Alkari left. The soccer will be wiped from the map. And of course, our battle group at Nam is with eight, or sorry, seven ships of the line. Is that big enough to take Ravati? Two transports will is all we'll need. Yeah, let's try it. We'll, it'll be a tough fight, but that's what we're interested in. So they'll hit into Ravati. And then of course, the remainder of our fleet is assembling at Avalar in a few turns to take on the Antaran attack fleet. In these two new 1.7s, we'll get there in three turns. They should be able to join in the battle. Same ETA as the Antarans. And let's do one last thing. Let's jump in. You can see both colonies have the missile base and the star base done. But since we have plenty of cash, let's buy out those fighter garrisons will it turn or not turn return and buy out that fighter garrison as well how effective will fighters be against the Antaran ships probably not at all but eh, what the heck that's it we'll call it there for today if you watched and listened thank you so much take care